Seven Seas Water owns, operates, and maintains the state-of-the-art Point Fortin desalination plant, which is located within the Petrotrin Refinery Marine Terminal Facility in the country of Trinidad and Tobago. We are located uh, at the southwestern peninsula of Trinidad, and our plant is a 7.4 million gallons per day plant. We take water from the Gulf of Paria, remove the salt content, our plant produces the water, stores it in a half a million gallon tank, and supplies this water on a daily basis to Wasa. We run seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. With no upfront capital investment required by Trinidad, Seven Seas Water financed and installed the plant under a build-own-operate agreement. Seven Seas Water designed and constructed the plant using the water industry's latest technology, highest quality materials, and best engineering practices. Construction of the first two phases of the plant, producing over 20,800 cubic meters per day of drinking water, was completed within a short 14-month period. Operation commenced in 2013 and provided a stable drinking water supply in an area where some residents were only receiving water one or two days per week. There's a person born and bred in Point Fortin and been around the world a bit. You understand that water is life. And I grew up in Point Fortin and experienced what it is to not have water. With the advent of Seven Seas, what became available to the people of Point Fortin is a steady supply of water. Our focus really is on ensuring that the residents of Point Fortin and environs, businesses, industry, and others receives continuous water supply. As the south region of Trinidad grew, the capacity of the plant was further increased in 2016 with the installation and startup of Phase 3, producing an additional 5,600 cubic meters per day of drinking water. The intake pump station for the plant is located 400 meters offshore and uses five computer-controlled pumps to extract nearly 65,000 cubic meters per day of seawater and pump it inland to the desalination plant through a 700 millimeter diameter pipeline. The seawater from the Gulf of Paria is particularly challenging to treat. The salt content of the water fluctuates wildly and quality is also impacted both by seasonal weather patterns and the influence of siltout flows from the Orinoco River in Venezuela. The seawater undergoes extensive pre-treatment for solids removal via flocculation and clarification in plate settlers to settle and remove algae, sand, and dirt. Next, the seawater passes through primary filtration, where over 50 multimedia filters remove and retain the majority of the remaining suspended materials in the water. During secondary filtration, cartridge filters remove even finer materials before the water passes into 11 reverse osmosis trains. To me, the most uh, amazing units, uh, unit on the plant is uh, the water reverse osmosis uh, skids. Uh, we have them uh, in uh, 250,000 uh, gallons per day uh, units and we have them uh, outfitted as a quick deploy 1MGD as 1 million gallon skids. Each reverse osmosis train uses semi-permeable spiral wound membranes to separate the seawater feed into two separate streams. The potable water stream called the permeate and the high salt content stream called the reject. A multi-stage, high-pressure pump provides the necessary hydraulic pressure, as high as 55 bar, to facilitate the separation of salts from the seawater. Additionally, a boost pump is used in conjunction with pressure exchangers to significantly reduce power consumption. This energy recovery system reduces the required reverse osmosis input energy by as much as 60%. After separation of the salts from the seawater, the permeate water is naturally balanced for taste and then transferred to the high service storage tank. The finished water is continuously monitored to ensure the highest quality before being pumped under pressure directly into the water distribution system, delivering the water to over 40,000 people. All waste streams from the filtration, sedimentation and RO processes are treated to remove all solids and chemicals. The facility returns water back to the Gulf of Paria, cleaner than it was received. 
The resultant solids are stored on site and ultimately dewatered for removal from the site as non-toxic land fillable solid waste. The entire operation at Point Fortin Desalination Plant is monitored and controlled by our supervisory control and data acquisition system in conjunction with our highly experienced and dedicated operations and maintenance staff. Um, our plant is supported by field service engineers who uh, come out of Tampa in the United States and they would periodically visit the plant to provide any support that the staff here may require. As a result, Seven Seas Water is able to treat seawater efficiently and safely, ensuring a reliable and high quality source of drinking water for the people of Trinidad. I am grateful to Almighty God that Seven Seas chose Point Fourteen to establish itself, and I think the people of Point Fourteen are in a better place because of your presence.